Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Right now, on your iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch, just look for your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see the second option should say software update. However, if you don't see that, don't worry about it. Just scroll down. We're going to click on general and from there, we're going to do our update. But before we do that, I do want to show you how to back this up just in case something goes wrong. So you do need to back it up before you make any updates just in case and hey nobody wants to lose all their information anyways on the top you're going to see your name just tap on it once you tap on it just look for iCloud now it says iCloud 5 gigs tap right there and then iCloud backup once you tap on iCloud backup it's going to take you to this page now right here just put in backup now in my case, it does tell me this because I don't back up my photos on iCloud because I only have five gigs. I don't want to use any more gigs. I do have Amazon Prime where I just back up everything for free. And I also have Google Photos, which used to be free. Right now it's paid, but you still have a few gigs if you guys want to back up your photos there. So I'm just going to tap in continue. And there we go. So photos and videos will be the biggest things that take up space on your iCloud. Most likely, if you guys do back that stuff up, you will end up paying to back things up right here. However, like I mentioned, if you guys have Amazon Prime, it does come with Amazon Photos where you guys can just upload your pictures on your own account, back them up that way. There is an app available for that. But anyways, right now it's all backed up. I'm good to go. I can just go back. And now that I went all the way back, I can go on and go to general like I mentioned before. Under general, your second option will say software update. Under software update, we're going to see this. If you don't see it, just refresh it, restart your phone. Everything should be fine. If you're still having problems, just hook up your iPhone, iPad, or touch directly to your computer and just make the backup through there. If you're on PC, you can use iTunes. If you're on Mac, you can just use Finder. Now, keep in mind that this update is only half a gig, so it's really small. It's going to be really quick. Let's just tap on download and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one, and then it's going to begin the download. So first part is downloading, then it's going to go on and install it. Right now, I'm going to say don't use my data because I just wanted to use Wi-Fi. And here we go. So right now, it's going to be yeah around those 10 minutes just to download the update. But I do want to show you if you click on learn more, it's going to tell you just a little bit more about the update itself. And let's just close that up. So if you guys want to find more information about that, at this point in time, you could just leave your iPhone iPad touch. Just make sure you have enough battery. And even if you do, I still recommend hooking it up some electricity so that way it's charging while you're doing any update, even if it's 100%. Right after this, we just have to press install or just leave our phone to be. It's just going to download and do the update by itself, install it. I also want to mention that up here where it says automatic updates, make sure that's always off. And that's because sometimes glitches happen. And if you have it on, it's just going to run the update by itself at nighttime when you have it hooked up, most likely, and charging up. And then in the morning, let's say that something went wrong and your phone doesn't work. Well, you won't know what happened. But in this case, if you do it yourself, you're going to know it was the update. And that way you won't be confused about anything. Now, how long will this update take? Well, since it's just half a gig, it does depend on internet speed. But for most of you, it's just going to be a couple seconds to download it. And then the installation time that could take a few minutes for some of you. It also depends on your device and how old your device is. But for now, all we can do is just wait. All right. So as mentioned, you would get that install now and that's your last step. All you have to do is just tap on install. Now it's going to verify the update. You'll see your iPhone turn off. Then you're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar. As mentioned, we would see an Apple logo and a loading bar right after this, just going to turn off and we're done. So here we go. We would see that black screen and we're officially done. Just swipe up, putting a passcode if you have one and we can just double check in our settings that everything went OK. Just go back in software update and we already know that we're up to date. But anyways, it's good to double check. Here it is, iOS 15.6. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.